Superman materials helpful in exploring that? And I also wanted to ask Amy, I know your daughter's only three, but what's a bigger deal to her, Superman or the Muppets? <laughs> Mine's a quick answer. That would be, well, I don't know. She really liked Henry in the suit, I have to say. <laughs> she did try to give him a little cheeky grab, which was very funny. <laughs> um, she wanted to touch the suit, and she just happened to be at rear end height. She's going to kill me when she's older. <laughs> so she really... She reached out and gave it a little touch. Um, but she's really into Miss Piggy right now. She just saw me party for the first time. So today she asked me if I was going to work with Miss Piggy. So, yes. I would say Muppets, but it's probably she's on the Classic Superman. Um, classic Superman material. As far as the conflict that, that he went through or, or the, um, the journey, it, it wasn't about classic Superman material. Um, there's a lot of different... Yeah, no. silence. <laughs> um, and here comes the heat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah get rid of these people. Uh, so, it, what when you see Clark traveling through the world, trying to work out, you know, what and who and why he is? Um, I didn't go to source material for that. I, I just uh, thought about. I applied my own life to it. As actors, it's quite a lonely existence, unless you have someone traveling with you the entire time. Um, you spend a lot of time by yourself and you meet new people, you make temporary family, you love them and then you never see them again potentially apart from the odd press conference and <laughs> it's it, it, you just apply that to the character and that's exactly what he experiences is new groups of people constantly and then disappearing and having to introduce himself to these other people and prove to them that he's a nice guy and he does all the right, tries to do the right stuff and then all of a sudden he disappears again uh, and so it's just that lonely aspect which I apply to it as opposed to any classic Superman material. I have a question for Russell, if that's okay. Uh, a Jor-El Actually, question. Mate, I've got a question for Chuck. Sure. <laughs> um, and this is a really important question, Chuck, and I hope that you can give me some sort of guidance here because uh, children across America, but particularly my children in Australia, need to know when the jor Lego minifigure will be available. <laughs> <laughs> that is the question on everyone's mind at this point. That's what you were going to ask. I was, that was my next question, is what about the minifigs? Chuck? Uh, the yeah. world is watching. I, 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 I hate to, to let you down about this, but I actually don't have that date, although I know what it is imminent. Just you know, make it up. That was pretty good. That was pretty cool. Just go July 7th. <laughs> no one's going to check. It's like a happy meal thing. Um, but it, just in terms of uh, Jarrell's involvement in the movie, do you see your mini figure, Mark? No. It's pretty good, man. <laughs> Apart from the mininess, it's a really good life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Russell's not going to do the movie unless he can have a mini fig. I guess. Steal. Steal, bro. Don't bring up Lego. And, and by the way, your mini fig is amazing. Have you seen your mini fig? No. You'll love it. <laughs> um, You're talking Lego. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're saying Lego. Lego. <laughs> Which is also the plural Lego. Um, but when you... Jarrell's pretty involved in this movie, and when you see the original Superman, you're like, oh, Brando came in for an afternoon and just shot all of his stuff, and they put it at the beginning of the movie in a little bit. But Jarrell is really it's the soul, kind of the soul of the movie. So what was the, what was the experience for you just kind of being that uh, with this? I have a confession. Might as well just get it out then. Okay, we're, right we're all friends. I've never seen any other Superman movie. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen any of the ones with um, that fella in it or the new young fella. I didn't see that either. Um, I don't have any references in terms of a cinematic experience. The only Superman reference I, I have is the 1950s black and white TV show that uh, was on TV after school when I was a kid. So um, I really have. I don't have anything to draw on. I, um, the simple thing for me is I read the script. I thought it was a, a complex and really cool story as you know, in and of itself. Um, and I thought the problems that jor faced in terms of his decisions as a father was a very interesting thing to do. So that's why I got involved. Cool. Uh, who has the microphone? 